Hi friends and welcome. So it's mid-November and I'm feeling super festive. So it means I'm going to start some touches of Christmas around my house. I'm going to do Christmas bedding. I am going to do the bathroom super nice with some new towels that I got that are super Christmassy and I can't wait. First things first and that is ignore the fact that my background is a mix of my kids bedroom and the office. If you've seen the previous clean with me you would know that we're going through like office, home office renovations and that is still in progress. Basically we are currently painting so step by step right so we're nearly there but do excuse like the things that you might see around the house but apart from that if you are new here i am alina ghost and i do loads of mum content especially like daily shorts and videos like this so if you want to join the community come and join the fun and subscribe to the channel so basically today i am going to do exactly that i'm going to focus on the bedrooms and then i'm going to focus on the bathroom and i'm going to start off with my kids bedroom so let's get to that now and you'll see me doing that putting up firstly his harry potter bedding because guys you know it each time harry potter comes on tv it's because it's that christmas season and i thought it's super lovely to put my son's harry potter bedding on there i actually got this second hand and it's like a single duvet um cover so basically it's something that i didn't have before but i thought it's super lovely because it's lovely nice colors and i think my son really loves it he saw it in the drawer the other day and he was like wow look at it because it looks like magic there's like the snitch on there and everything and I can't wait to start reading the book to him because my niece who's nine years old started to actually read the books herself and I got so super excited don't tell her but I got loads and loads of Harry Potter stuff for Christmas for her too you might think the weather's kind of cold so hard to resist and those red lips are longing for a kiss come along now and play what a wonderful day christmas is almost here let's toast to a very good year it's just you kind of date I'm all yours and I can hardly wait come along start the show having fun in the snow So that is a double bed for when my sister and the nieces come and stay over. And basically for anybody else who wants to stay as well. So our guest is usually our uncle. So uh, Aiden's uncle, my son's uncle. So my son's actually three years old. And yes, he sleeps on the top bunk. But actually um, he really enjoys it. And he thinks it's a lot of fun. And he's never had an accident yet. So touch wood. But yeah, basically I'm going to focus on the double bedding at the bottom. And actually it's not a double duvet. I give your secret it's actually a king size duvet because it's the old bedding that we used to have in the old house until we got the super size and basically I thought well instead of chucking it away let's just use it on the double bed so that is what I'm going to do and it's super more subtle Christmassy it's like white and glittery and I can't wait for it to be up so that's enough of me rambling on for a little while. I'll catch you guys later on when I'm doing our master bedroom and it's a super duper new Christmas bedding that we just got last year in the sale. So I can't wait to put it on for the first time ever.
so it's time to do our master bedroom and I'm going to change the bedding. You might have noticed that in the other room, I didn't actually change the sheet of that double bed. That's because nobody stayed in that bed. So the bedding is still clean. I just wanted to make it all Christmassy. But in this room, I'm also going to take some shortcuts and I'm not going to change my new silk sheets. And that's because I've recently washed it because our toddler tends to come to our bed every single night in the middle of the night so although he starts off in his own bed he comes to us and unfortunately he recently had an accident so basically the bedding's also clean here but I just wanted it all to be festive and Christmassy so I'm super excited to be putting on the new bedding so you'll be able to see that actually I've got two different sets of pillowcase covers so the top ones are actually from Primark and the the other set so the nutcracker set is actually Debenhams so yes you you might not believe it but Debenhams is actually online even though the stores have closed so I managed to get that in the sale last year and especially because I used to work for them I got like a discount on top of that but anyway I'm very happy with it and I actually think those two go together although the material is a little bit different you can't really tell and they're super cozy and comfortable and I can't wait to actually for it to be Christmas and so festive and yeah as you can see I'm struggling here with some buttons I don't know if anybody else like hates buttons I prefer like the clips <laughs> but yeah so here we are and then after this I'm going to focus on the bathroom So it's finally here, the cleaning of the bathroom and today I'm going to focus on tidying up and doing a surface clean. As I've mentioned before, I do like to maintain the bathroom throughout my time rather than doing it like every couple of weeks and doing like a whole couple of hours on it. So I do find it easier if I do it in bits. So today I'm going to focus on the bits that I've just mentioned and it's funny that I always tend to do the toilet basin like every few days I've got a three-year-old boy who likes to experiment and things don't always go right so I end up cleaning that one quite a bit too and I thought I will add some festive bits to the window sills as well as the towels that I've mentioned and there'll be a lovely candle at the end too so that was smelling so wonderful believe me but yeah basically thank you for joining me i hope that this gives you motivation this like during this festive period to do something around your house i also wanted to mention the fact that i've got a little dog a cocker spaniel so i end up actually washing him a lot in the shower so you'll see me cleaning the shower tray as well it's mucky with the mud and the dust like the dirt rather from his paws that comes out especially when we go walkies and then we're coming back but he started to even start to roll in poo but let me say no more let's just get on with the clean with me i hope that you've enjoyed it and good luck and have a fun time with your festive cleaning too i 
Here. Yeah.